Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your pollen filter on this Jaguar F-Pace. So as you can see this is the glove box. So we're going to need to basically remove, you can see those screws there. They are actually T30, so you see there's one there and there's one there. And there is some up there as well as you can see. That we're going to need to remove to take this whole glove box got to come out. So literally probably even need to move this trim a bit out of the way and we're going to need to take this cover off so literally we just need to move this out of the way as well so this should just pull off a little bit of effort there we go and that just comes off okay, just get like a trim tool to get in there to get this one off and then basically we'll start on the glove box so i just drop the glove box down you know that. This one here, if we just clip off like that. Right. As you can see, let's pull it out. You can see all the bits, so it slots in that gap over there. So that's out. You can see it's also got. Another bolt there as well that we're going to need to take off. That's the reason why we took this cover out. So underneath the glove box as well, as you can see that clip, we're going to just pop that out. Pop that one out as well. There's one there. There's another one in the corner there, as you can see. So that I can literally just take this out of the way completely. So I'm just going to show you how to take them out. As you can see, I've got my trim tool here. Literally just slide it up underneath there, like that. Let's make sure it's underneath sitting there. And then you see it just pops straight up. As you can see, that's what they look like. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of them. So as you can see, I've now taken it off. So I can put this down, pull that out of the wall. We can have a good look at what's going on around here. As you can see, there's another bolt there. Oh, they need to take off. There's one there as well, and there's one there. So I'm going to take those out. So as you can see now, I've removed those screws. That not me a hard way to taking that one out. As you can see that one there. I'm going to take that one out as well. Use a smaller socket for the shorter socket for that one there. Gonna have to use a shorter torque for that one to remove it. 
So as you can see, I'm gonna use this one because it slots in there just perfect, as you can see. If you've got a swivel as well, you could use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. As you can see, those ones are out now. ones up there and there's three of them there's one there as well I'll go ahead and do that now as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and take that one out So now I need to take this trimmer. Take these bolts out. So T twenty seven. that screw down there and as you can see it slips in that little slot down there then unclip this comes away like right, so as you can see it goes all the way around there if you want to strip all that off then you're gonna to have to move the seat all the way back as possible now we don't want to do all of that so we're gonna unplug this Okay, so that does want to come out at the moment, so we'll just unclip the glove box from that panel, as you can see, because it sits behind this one. And we can just leave it hanging for a minute. As you can see, we've got our pollen filter. So much work to get to one little pollen filter. So yeah, as you can see, these little tabs, you just got to push them in, like that get this off. Now I've got to get a pollen filter out. This is where a lot of people don't know how to get that out. I'm going to show you now. Don't forget to like. Okay so this is taking a bit difficult to come out so I'm not really going to twist it and bother. It's not really in my way. So as you can see you can't really get the pollen filter out from there. So I'm going to show you how you get this pollen filter out because I've seen a lot of people taking it out from the top because they don't know how to get it out from here. Now I'm going to show you. Basically what you need to do first is turn the ignition on. 
make sure the ignition on you see this reset button we're gonna press that reset button let's just show you again see that one there i'm gonna press that as you can see see how it opens up voila you just pull that bad boy out like that you get me let's take that out let's pull that out completely as you can see i'm gonna fit the new one in there now now we're gonna so now we're gonna fit our new pollen filter in the arrow's got to be facing up by the way so you see the arrows there just facing upwards they should just got to slide it in underneath these little hooks and then literally underneath these ones as well like that as you can see that is sitting flush right now now we're literally gonna just slide that back in there That. as you can see see that it's back in place and you see it says up you can see the letter on there as well it tells you what way it's supposed to be facing so now we're just going to slot this back in it's got like some little slots i don't know if you can see on the side you see those little grooves they go on these little bits there there's one there there's also one on the side there just got to line those up see and it literally just slots in like that that's basically it and obviously just press to shut it and as you can see that's fully closed now we're just going to obviously do the reverse of what we just did to put this glove box back in place it's quite a lot of work to literally replace pollen filter realistically what i'm going to do now is as you can see i've got the grooves down here that needs to slot back into it and obviously i told you about that bolt down there it slots in between that just slots in it and then you tighten the bolt and just holds it in place so as you can see what i'm talking about we need to line it up within those see those holes there they need to be slotted into those as you can see those need to go into those there so i'm going to go ahead and do that as you can see it's all slotted in place now and like i said you see the bolt down in is the slot this needs to slot above it and then slide in straight and then you tighten that bolt and holds it in place i'm gonna go ahead and do that now she said i'm videoing this on my own so i'm gonna need to literally use both my hands to do that so literally i just went and took the screw out completely as you can see there and you literally got to pull this over to slow it on and then obviously this needs to go over there like that and if you look down there as you can see that's where the screw needs to go it's not really that clear but I'm just gonna have to slot the screw back in down there so you're gonna need a long extension literally run straight down through there So as you can see, you can see where the screw goes just down there. See it right there? So you put the screw in after. Before you actually clip this whole unit back in place, otherwise I don't have no space for you to tighten it. So as you can see, that bit's now back in. It's been pushed up here. We'll slot that in perfectly once we've got this bit in. So you can see, it needs to clear that little bit, this bit down here. So you need to have it above it. And then as it slots up here, it goes in there. And it just holds it there as you can see then you can see those bits have gone in flush so we just need to put all the screws as you can see back in and then obviously clip that panel back on but i just need to finish with the screw on that it's probably best to have a screwdriver that's got a magnet on it so you don't end up dropping the screw so now i'm gonna go and fit that screw in there as you can see situated down there as I said, you see the screwdriver of a magnet. It's got a magnet end on it. And literally just got to make sure I can see exactly where that screw goes to put it in there. It's a little bit difficult to show you exactly where the screw is there. 
thickness is right there. And I'm literally, as you can see, tightening it up right now. See if I can get a better angle. Oh, yeah, there we are. See, now that's tight and all done. I'm just gonna put all of the rest of the other ones on, as I showed you before. So you see, I'm gonna put this one in back, this one in back third. Oh. Ones are all black bolts. See, just line this one up here. I'm not going to tighten these ones completely because I need to make sure all of them line up, including the top ones and the ones at the bottom, before I fully tighten all of them. As you can see now I've put all the screws back in apart from that one there that I need to tighten up on that one I've already done that one in the corner there that one there that one there I've also done all these three underneath the bottom as you can see I've just tightened up that one as well so now all I need to do is just tighten up those two and just put that trim back on so you can see this trim I can literally just put this trim back on right now actually just need to line it up like so but before we do that I need to put those two bolts in 
as you can see those are the two bolts there might well do that in a minute just going to finish off these two screws so now as you can see those screws are done see they're back in both of them now i'm just going to put these two back in and actually just line them up put them in by hand first try not to over tight them because remember it is plastic don't really want anything breaking Just make sure it lines up there before we do anything. As you can see, that went in perfectly. Clips there, clips on there. Let's make sure it's all lined up. Let's push it down. As you can see, that is sitting flush. The glove blocks can shut because all the bolts have been put back in. Now, all we've got to do is put the cover back on this side. put it back in remember that little slot slots in that bit there so I'm just gonna move this out of the way and that needs to go all the way through there so underneath that bit and then it needs to go up there slot in you can see it slots into that gap there and then we need to actually just slot those ones in there make sure they're slotted in and push them in like so once this lined up they'll fit in just make sure that one is lined up that's it it's that one as you can see they're all in there i'm just going to go ahead and slot this back in so as you can see that is all on and it should be all of those bits back in place just need to put this cover back on so go ahead and put that on line it back up underneath there like this. so as you can see fits perfectly and these literally just these little clips just literally just push in it's gonna do that like that Thank you and thank you for choosing Gab Official. Please like, share and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling. Boom.